Hey everybody, Steve Simonson here with Parsimony.com and we're going to show you today how to do a quick implementation of the Parsimony ERP system. So first of all, you're going to want to navigate to your own instance of Parsimony. In this case, we're using the demonstration site of c88.parsimony.com and you want to refer to the email that was sent to you with your administrator username and password. Once you have that, go ahead and get started and paste in your administrator password into the field, sign in, and then the system will authenticate your password. Once that's been done, it's going to take you through a light implementation. Obviously, you're going to choose your language. There's lots of languages to choose from. See all those languages? In this case, we're going to select English United States. Uh, we're going to then select the country, and again, you're just going to want to scroll down until you find your country, and then select the proper time zone. And of course, your currency if that needs changed. Uh, in this case, you're going to get this little message, uh, the invalid email. The system is trying to email you and you haven't set up email yet, so just ignore that and move on. Uh, in this case, I'm going to enter my name, Steve Simonson, and I'm going to enter my email address as well. There's a whole bunch of email options there. But in this case, there we go. And then I'm going to enter a password for this user account. I'm the first user in this particular account. And then we're going to go on ahead over here. And I'm saving it to my local machine here. Uh, if it's not a local machine, don't save it. If it is, go ahead. Pick your domain. This is the type of business you're in. If you're in um, retail or manufacturing distribution, uh, this particular company is in services. Most e-commerce company, companies will be considered retail. So select the domain. Enter your brand information. You can enter just a name and just an abbreviation. If you wish, you can go ahead and select an image. In this case, we're going to go ahead and we can choose a web link if we want, if there's just a quick web uh, option. In this case, we're going to go ahead and browse and find uh, a logo that we have on our local machine. And we found a logo, and it looks good. We're going to choose that one, and then uh, it's uploading, and there you can see it's been inserted right there. So we go ahead and click Next, and then what does the organization do? This is just a very simple description. This is nothing important. Uh, you can always change it later. But in this case, Catalyst 88 is all about empowering entrepreneurs' lives. And then we enter our, the name of our bank, which will fill into the chart of accounts. Now, in this case, you could select an exact precise date that you started. Uh, maybe you're planning on implementing this as starting in the future date, or you can use the existing dates that come pre-populated. Uh, it's really up to you to decide those dates. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use the dates that, by default here. Once you've done that, the system is being set up and you're really on your way. Uh, there's not much more to it. Uh, we're going to take you through another step or two, but basically the main heavy lifting is being done. You'll get this message, which is nice, and then you see this login, and it's going to ask you to do some basic setup things. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and just follow the setup procedure and, uh, and see what it takes us through. So, first thing is it says, what's your monthly sales target? We're just going to enter a figure here just for uh, moving on, 1,000, and you'll see that when we do that, it adjusts it to 1,000.00. We're entering a test, test customer here and the contact name of Bob Test. Oh, Bob Tester, that's right. And then we're going to enter a test supplier or test uh, vendor, however you want to think of it. First, we'll spell this right. And then we'll enter uh, one of the most prominent testers, Jeff Tester. He's great. And then we go to the next one, and we're going to enter, you guessed it, a test product or item. And we just put in a, any rate that we want here. And then uh, we can add an additional user. In this case, we'll add one of my favorites. That's right, Kathy at Catalyst88.com. Not 87, 88. And we'll enter her name here. And this just adds a user account for her. You can click the little Add More button if you like, or you can go ahead and move on to the next one. Again, you get that little message about the email not being set up by default. That's life. Um, carry on because we'll set up email at another time. This is the main kind of uh, format that you see. And you can go back in and look at the setup steps uh, if you need to see something or if you felt you've missed something. Uh, the little progress bar up there shows you the, the items. And you can even go in and look at the users that you've set up uh, from that uh, experience. So in this case, we have both of those users set up, and uh, we could enter another uh, user. Uh, and that's the number one thing that I think people should do when they first set up. And in this case, we'll enter the uh, awesome Sherry Richardson. 
so that she can get uh, into input in the system and we're going to have that same error because we don't have email set up so technically these users are set up but they don't actually have their credentials because they weren't emailed to them and so this is something that we'll have to go in and set up later that's it for now thank you very much